Hey there, everyone. Wes Altus here, Director of Instruction at Top Golf Jacksonville. And uh, here's my first kind of skill drill to do inside the house since we're cooped up a little bit. Uh, this is just simply a ladder drill. Um, basically what I have set up here, I've got four balls set up and I've got four stations that I'm trying to roll this ball to. Now you'll notice um, the balls are kind of off to the right of where these actual markers are. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to land or put the ball to the first station. So my goal is to stop it either at my first coaster or anything in between, but make sure I don't go past the second um, coaster. So I'm going to do that all the way through. And this is a great, great drill for you to start developing uh, speed control. Um, you could go out and uh, purchase like a well mat or something like that. And they'll have something similar to this kind of laid out on the map for you. But if you don't have it and you got some carpet that you can do this on, I would highly recommend it. Uh, I do like to go through my full routine with each one of these shots. I go ahead and line up the, the balls out and I've went ahead and I like to use a line on my ball to line up my putt. So my goal here is not only speed, but it's also to see if I can make that ball roll end over end. So the line looks like it's going end over end, um, almost in a straight line, not a lot of wobble to it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of go through this, get through my routine. I'm gonna make my practice strokes that I feel I'm gonna need to stop this by the coaster or just a little bit be, uh, beyond it. So there's my first stroke, goes a little bit beyond, so that's actually good. Then I'm gonna come up into my second one, so I know this one's a little bit in the way, so I'm just gonna scooch that off to the side. Now my next goal is to stop it next to the second coaster. We're just beyond, I'm trying to land it as close as I can, but never short or never long. So I'm just trying to match the tempos up as best as I can, so that went in between the two, so that's another good one. And then as you start getting better with this, you can start adding more of these stopping points um, as you get better or tighten up the bandwidth of them to really see how we're doing here. So I'm gonna make sure I get in here, got my practice strokes. Now I'm gonna try and mimic that. And what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to mimic the whole entire feel and speed of each practice stroke to get me in the, in the right position. Now this last one, all I'm trying to do is get it to that last target. And if it goes a little bit beyond it, that's good. But the main goal here is not to leave it short of that last putt. So really hit that one nicely. It's gonna stop right about on it. The lines were going end over end, so I know my kind of face and path are working out pretty good. And I did a really nice job here of kind of spacing these out. So go through this a couple times. If this is getting too easy, you know, start narrowing up the coasters. I started these off with basically a stride in between each one. Maybe next time I'll go maybe just a foot in front of each one and just make more targets. So give this a try, see how many uh, attempts you can do. Once you attempt it this way, maybe try and move back and just see how many times you can go back and forth landing those balls in each zone. Hope this uh, helps you guys and when you get back out on the course, this improves your uh, distance control.